Open Heavens on the Go, Sunday, January 17th, 2021. Topic, Mathematics of Christ in You, Lost 2. Memory Verse, 1 Corinthians 6, 18. Flee fornication, every sin that a man doeth is without the body. But he that committed fornication sinneth against his own body. 1 Corinthians 6, 18. Bible reading. Judges 16, 4 to 20. And it came to pass afterward that he loved a woman in the valley of Sorek, whose name was Delilah. And the lords of the Philistines came up unto her and said unto her, Entice him, and see wherein his great strength lieth, and by what means we may prevail against him, that we may bind him to afflict him. And we will give thee, every one of us, eleven hundred pieces of silver. And Delilah said to Samson, Tell me, I pray thee, wherein thy great strength lieth, and wherewith thou mightest be bound? to afflict thee. And Samson said unto her, If they bind me with seven grain wheats that were never dried, then shall I be weak and be as another man. Then the lords of the Philistines brought up to her seven grain wheats, which had not been dried, and she bound him with them. Now there were men lying in wait, abiding with her in the chamber. And she said unto him, The Philistines be upon thee, Samson. And he brake the wheats, as a tread of tow is broken when it toucheth the fire. So his strength was not known. And Delilah said unto Samson, Behold, thou hast mocked me and told me lies. Now tell me, I pray thee, wherewith thou mightest be bound. And he said unto her, if they bind me fast with new ropes that never were occupied, then shall I be weak and be as another man. Delilah therefore took new ropes and bound him therewith and said unto him, The Philistines be upon thee, Samson. And there were liars in wait abiding in the chamber, and he brake them from off his arms like a thread. And Delilah said unto Samson, Hitherto thou hast mocked me and told me lies. Tell me wherewith thou mightest be bound. And he said unto her, If thou weavest the seven locks of my head with the web. And she fastened it with the pin, and said unto him, The Philistines be upon thee, Samson. And he awaked out of his sleep and went away with the pain of the bee and with the web. And she said unto him, How canst thou say I love thee, when thy heart is not with me? Thou hast mocked me these three times, and hast not told me wherein thy great strength lieth. And it came to pass, when she pressed him daily with her words, and urged him, so that his soul was vexed unto death. That, she, that he told her all his heart, and said unto her, There has not come a razor upon my head, for I have been a Nazarite unto God from my mother's womb. If I be shaven, then my strength will go from me, and I shall become weak and be like any other man. And when Delilah saw that he had told her all his heart, she sent and called for the lords of the Philistines, saying, Come up this once, for he hath shewed me all his heart. Then the lords of the Philistines came up unto her and brought money in their hands. And she made him sleep upon her knees, and she called for a man, and she caused him to shave off the seven locks of his hair, and she began to afflict him and his strength went from him. And she said, 
the Philistines be upon thee, Samson. And he awoke out of his sleep and said, I will go out as at other times before and shake myself. And he wist not that the Lord was departed from him. The message. A hungry and thirsty fellow is one who is desperate for food and water. Have you ever seen someone who has been stranded on a desert for a whole month? If he sees water anywhere, he will do anything, and I mean anything, to drink it. The same applies to a man who has been deprived of food for many days. In the same vein, God expects us to hunger and thirst for righteousness. He expects us to desperately pursue righteousness. Jesus gave a parable in Matthew 13, 44 to 46, that the kingdom of God is like a man who found treasure in a field and went to sell all that he had so he could buy that field and own the treasure. Psalm 63 verse 1 says, My soul thirsts for you, my flesh yearns for you, in a dry and weary land where there is no water. You should be willing to give up anything just to remain righteous. The reverse is the case these days. People are very quick to sacrifice their righteousness in order to gain some pleasures of the world. Don't deceive yourself with contemporary Christianity. If you are not desperately hungry to live a holy life, you become easy meat for the devil. You need to be desperate enough to cut off your right hand if that hand is going to cause you to sin. Matthew 5.30 In other words, if social media is the means through which immoral thoughts get into your mind, then you must be ready to delete those social media apps from your phone. If you are lost in after your secretary, then you must be ready to let go of such a person. If being a staff in that organization causes you to stain your garment of holiness, then resign. Only the violent can take the kingdom of God, and they must take it by force. Don't be afraid to be asked why you pursue this Jesus so much. Fear of what people may say will make many lose their righteousness and consequently the kingdom of God. You must hunger and thirst for righteousness at all times. Key point. Flee every appearance of lust of the flesh. Bible reading in one year. Genesis 34 to 36. Him for today. What can wash away my stain? The Open Heavens is written by Pastor E. A. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. God bless you.